So at this point in time, you guys have this locked yeah. down. I don't feel there's any need unless you guys really want to roll this out. Yeah. You guys yeah. off everything. Uh, whoever actually does the killing blow on the giant, it's disgusting because the whole thing just falls apart into a massive pile of blood and it washes over everything. It's Ace and Ace and actually murders it with a dagger. <laughs> <laughs> Um, from his mouth. Okay. So, I insulted to death. <laughs> Pile of helmets. Our father's elder, elder bears. Let's see. Got our six. Uh, well, we got twenty of them. Ten. Ooh. I would keep the leader in the in the cart. Like, like drag him in and put him in the cart. <laughs> You're coming with me. Yeah. So R- are we going to no, 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 no. outcast now? These, these, <laughs> these are the helmets we need. Those are the helmets. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. Do I stop bleeding? Oh. We, yeah, so it was like uh, two more rounds. How, how many How many rounds was that? Was that three or two? That two. Was two. Two, but I don't know how much longer it took to kill him. All right, so you've taken another eight damage. Ow. Um, I don't know if you bring this... To, to anyone's attention. Uh, well, we saw that blood erupt from him, and I and I said, "Oh, not again!" Well, do I continue to bleed even after the blood giant? Yes. yes. I am bleeding. So I, I <laughs> well, say something to the healers because what I've experienced going on? this firsthand. Oh, what did we do last time? Uh, uh, medicine magic, check right? or restorative magic? Yeah. I will try to staunch my bleeding uh, since I know a little bit about medicine. And Carlos Wars and help him for now. <laughs> okay, you were going to make a medicine check? Yeah. Hold up. I will assist him. Roll with it. Good, <laughs> good, I'll need some oh, help. I didn't see the roll, so. Oh, good. Uh, 19. 19 will do it. Yeah, it, it's, it was work. You know, it's not... It's just disgusting. You, you kind of almost have to sew it a little bit. Uh, yeah, to, like, now, help them hold it together. Does magical healing stop that? Yes. Oh, I could have just... Okay, yes. fine. Um, well, and, then... And, you know, Uthengar... You know, if you would have gone further, he would he would have gone down that that line. I hit that magical healing. Guys, yeah, he's in, encountered this type of foul magic. What? What was that? The so, magic. as you as you in, investigate the the fallen the fallen foes, uh, there there is for every every body that was out there, there is a a suit of. Um, Armor that's made made from re, uh, a red steel. Ooh. It's not as opposed to it actually being blood like everything else with these things. It actually is steel. Uh, their helmets, as I described, it has a metal metal cap. So there is actually a helmet, but very similar to the the legends of red caps that we all know. Hmm. It is it is a a cloth covering. That is, is, is soaked is soaked in blood, and you can even see different different layers and different um, not designs, but you know those, those of you who you know are be- are better at investigating would say that it's blood from a variety of different creatures. Some spots are, are darker than others. Uh, every single bit of their their weapons uh, are are designed to draw out as much pain as possible hooks and curves and whatever have you. Henri will spend this entire time casting vegetation until he's clean. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Do they have any magical items? How are you or fig- gold? How are you figuring that out? Um, Intuition? I'll, I'll wave him over this way. I've got the uh, dead body right here. Someone probably has the... I have to check the magic, but... That would, well, that would do it. That would do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mark casts uh, Detect Magic. Every single one of the helmets glow. Ooh. Wow. Interesting. What kind of... What do you get from Detect Magic? You get school or whatever? Well, I, I have, have to look it up. I'll use an Identify to identify one. Yeah, I believe that we should take go. a small break here and rest. Yeah, and uh, oh, well we then. can strip uh, these of their uh, their goods. Uh, they, they, Don't they forget do to switch your power. Well, they do not have any any coin on them. None of their none of their weapons or armors are are magical. As I said, all of the shields do. All of the helmets do glow. 
Um, what what are they? The, uh, when you when you sit down, probably and, that's making them crazy. Uh, identify them. It, it is a a plus one helmet. It, it will add one to an armor class. But but it's you, you when you you know further get into it, you need to continually soak it in in the blood of your enemies in order to keep that enchantment active. Hasten is totally okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of blood usually around. <laughs> He's like, oh, you know, at the end of every battle, a little dip. He's like, it doesn't even have to be an enemy, right? I'll just dunk it in some blood. <laughs> My blood, your blood. Uh, actually, uh, not, and I'm not I will, I will, I, will blood I will clarify, it must be in the blood of something recently dead. Oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, perhaps a bunch of dwarves? <laughs> so, actually... Sad face, the only magic items we found were supposed to give to them, right? Yeah, but you never know what we're going to do. I yeah. did not think uh, that I think the we gnomes are going to that. continuously drown the helmets in seas of blood. Mm-hmm. It does not seem their way. Well, well no, I was it, th- it's selling them. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you how much you want to share. I mean, you did you did the you did Oh, I will tell them all of that, yeah. Um, do uh, they have any gold or silver? No. no. no Just no these interesting red arms. So they have yeah. stolen... Go ahead. How recent is recent? Uh, once, once a month. Oh, okay. So, um, but if you don't do it, then it's once a month. Yes. Okay. They've stolen a lot from these. No, true. Um, I do have investigation. Can we investigate to see if we can find one of the caches? You can try. I'm going to tell you, it's 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 going to be a rather steep chance. Uh, All right. I would, I'll take that roll if you'll allow it. I will always allow it. All right. Okay, well, we just... Uh, just won't let you make a mouth out of it. Hmm. Uh, he's checking. One second. Okay. So I am down one hit point now. Oh, just want to see did you uh, take a... Day. Are we taking a short rest? Yes. Are yes. people expending hit dice? Oh, yeah. I'm going to sing a little song about how uh, how uh, uh, pleasant it is to be with me. How sweet it is <laughs> to be to be uh, adventuring with me. Oh, what you? And you add an additional two hit points to, uh, to your healing. So what is it you roll? Oh, your, yeah. your, like if I have a die ten, so I would roll. Uh, so you have eleven hit dice. Eleven die ten. So you can roll, and correct me if I'm wrong, DM, uh, a d10, as many up to eleven a day, per long rest, and get that many hit points plus con. You, you you have the ability to during a short rest you don't expend have to hit dice. You can roll one at a time, two at a time, however you want. And before you do that, you should use your um, your second wind as a as a fighter. Or you get that before you start. Rest. Yeah, if you get every second. Yeah, but I can't do that until I'm down half my hit points. No, no, no. Uh, second wind is. That's what it says. You got it at second level. Yeah, yeah it's just a bonus action and. This. Yeah. You get 1d10 plus 11. Okay. Doesn't say anything about yeah. needing to be below. I, don't know where, I must have got that from something though. Fourth edition, maybe? I think it actually is fourth edition. I'm surprised you don't remember that. I <laughs> didn't play much of it. Uh, you need a 30. You need a 30. Okay. Uh, okay, so I need to roll a I want to cast to guidance on him. So. Uh, He's going to get a d4. Here's my inspiration. Is anyone we significantly need damaged? 38 back out of 40. Um, I, oh, yeah, I do have. I am a little bit Thank down. You. I cast Guidance three. on him. Do you have any healing? So I, I said I was going to do that. Oh. You have four to add it to that roll. So. I appreciate that. It's still short. Thank you. <sighs> what is he trying to do? He's I was trying, trying, trying to see if he could locate uh, the, the cash. The, the cash. The stuff that they had oh. taken. And assisting yeah. you didn't work either. No, you no. Rolled inspiration. Uh, no. Well, I, yeah, I rolled the inspiration. Oh, man. I had to roll a twenty to get it. That's hey, right. your 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 you thing was the four. You gave us extra points. Yeah, because yeah, everybody gets uh, two percent. extra points. Oh man, for hit die. Or? I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, for just total, total for short rest. So I got down to minus one. So I also expended a healing a hit die from Boris to bring him. Uh-huh. All right. Is anyone else wounded? Yeah. Are you gonna so expend any hit dice? Yeah, I will expend hit dice. Crispy spiders. Um, yeah, I guess we're walking now. And 
Hey, only one of them's down, I think. Oh, I'm, I'm my lizard's probably there. fried. I'm all the way up. You can eat that at least. <laughs> <laughs> revivify, revivify. <laughs> I have reincarnate. I think you, it's 300 gold or you walk. What do you do? <laughs> It's a, it's a expensive so walk. Yeah, it's an expensive so walk. Cast we shall return. Do you think you could use this uh, elemental of yours to find other passages? Oh, it's Roar. Huh? Roar. He's still a dinosaur. Oh, I'm talking to a dinosaur. <laughs> I mean, I can understand you, can't Speak yeah. with animals? <laughs> you, can, uh, you can understand them, you just can't talk. He can nod his head up and down. <laughs> yeah, I can. Uh, uh, nod your head up and down or left to right. I, mean, I hope so. I don't know how this spell works. If you can, is. tell this Someone elemental of yours to go find where their stuff is. I don't know if I can or not. It's not, not anything you've ever tried before. I don't know, Terran. It's definitely a great idea. And yeah, you wouldn't be able to command it, because... Dinosaur. Uh, actually, I can do the exact same thing. I have the ability to cast an elemental, and so that is a great idea. I would like to try that. So you wanna, you wanna He's going to cast summon an elemental to summon an earth elemental, so he can talk to his earth elemental to talk to his earth elemental. <laughs> and they're like, well, our powers can buy. <laughs> that is true. Once I've money. summoned my earth elemental, can the two of them communicate? Yeah. Can... All right, I will do that. Uh, so are, are we essentially getting, so this is a se second attempt at the same roll? Yes. All right, is it still a 30? It is. All right. 30. <laughs> yeah, wow. it's it 30. Is, it is a nearly impossible task. Well, I'm going to sing a song of, of seeking and inspire you to do a little bit better. There's a brown guy. <laughs> you get plus eight. Uh, there. Is that it? Scott. What's plus that? Eight. You're plus eight. Oh. And then you're also plus oh. three. So you're plus 11. Oh my gosh, if I hit a 19, that helps. All right, 19 or above, here we go. Well, oh. 14. <laughs> 14. Darn it. Wait, inspiration can be given to me, can it not? I, <laughs> my singing is definitely inspirational. Right. Yes, thanks. We're going to do it again. Right. You still need like a 19, right? 20! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Wow. <laughs> Where'd it go, Scott? Right. So. Thanks for the inspiration. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so two earth elementals, a whole bunch of spell casting yeah, later. Exactly. And and I use my investigation. <sighs> so after after a time, that yeah, the, the, the earth the elemental elemental uh, uh, you know glide back through the uh, through the wall and in their Oh. You know, <laughs> gravelly, grumbly, you know, stones grinding on Stark's stones. I would have did the 30 on that with all those pulses. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I, I actually have investigated. I'm okay at it. <laughs> uh, you, you managed to, to, to get, you know, that there is a, a secret oh, passageway about a mile <laughs> down, down the, the road that it's almost invisible to the, the naked eye it was only their ability to actually move through the stone that allowed them to find where where this extra traffic was was going so you you head back and in the midst you know broken wagons and torn apart spiders and, and lizards that are just kind of strewn aside there's several uh you know, there's a there's a collection of uh, chests and goods yeah. goods that are that are here that I, I guess we're waiting till they had enough. Yeah. Are there uh, can can someone uh, do can you detect detect magic again or is that used? It's used. I'm done. Yeah. Oh, just do it as a ritual. Yeah. Any hey, wizards could do it as a ritual. Yeah. So. Yeah, 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 I will do detect magic as a ritual. There's uh, nothing in here magical that you see. But essentially, this is some portion of all the things they lost. So yes. yeah. All right. Um, the trick now is going to be. Will be a pack mule. Yeah. Now oh, there we go. Well, there's still one wagon that you know has has creatures to pull it. Oh, perfect. We'll load it up. Uh, and the the question is, you have enough room to get on the carts the, the stuff that that's here. Yeah. Uh, whether you want to continue on the next day and a half and do the actual run to Outcast, 
or whether you want to return with whatever this stuff is here and go back to uh, Volgren. Huh. Well, you won't make oh, profit. well, this is yeah. this is what you arranged, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's put something out there. Well, yeah. I, I would be outcast. fine with sharing the profit with everyone if we could continue on our journey. Yeah, agreed. You're sharing Absolutely. your half of the profit. Right? <laughs> he's, he's, yeah, he's vested now. <laughs> so we're going forward. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we will press um, on to Outcast. Actually, I would like to see the harbor of the Never Bright Sea. Do I still have to be a pack mule? Even, yes. even with what I'm one good eye. Unless, like, uh, Asen and uh, uh, Skarik want to get on the cart and put their their mounts as the actual. Yeah, why not? Could do that, or yeah. or if we if I had to, I guess I could strap Boris to. Uh, Did my mount die? Yeah. You even said it died. Really? You did. Yeah. Forgot. It was very traumatic. Yeah, we we will take all the goods. Yeah. All right. Go. You forgot to say. Okay. I didn't forget. I wasn't going to. All right. Can only tell Boris. So. Say something good. Over the course of the next day, you wind up making it. To, to outcast and uh, which power am I going to have now? You see the uh, oh yeah, it's a new day, so we can yeah. reshuffle and redraw. Maybe I won't. Is that required? Redraw the same thing. Yes. It, what was that? What if you redraw the same? You thing? You redraw the same thing. You redraw so you the, same, the thing. same thing. You keep it. Sometimes I, I, chaos is the same. That's what I did. Yeah. I did it once too. They cast a spell and deliver it through an attack. Oh That's yep. part like, of an attack. Three times in a row. That's pretty nice. Well, it's your, you always have a one in four chance of, 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 of getting Ooh, the power. So. That's amazing. So amazing well, this, about it. Not this would do damage. My roar, you could cast this no, and hit something at the it same time. It gives them disadvantage the on their attack. What's your most powerful spell? spell. Good. I don't know, I have a third level spell. I mean second. The best one I have well, to work with spells you have, if I may ask. See, I have shield, thunder wave, magic missile. Well, you, could you could deliver thunder wave with it. Yeah, you uh, could do rave and field map and hit someone with a sword at the same time. Or magic missile and hit somebody with a sword at the same time. Thunder wave. Or thunder wave, like kaboom. Right. Yeah, you hit somebody and then everybody around them. That and your first level spells, you could bump up the second level. Right, that'd be rather cinematic. <laughs> you could light someone on fire from the inside of them. Heck, you could punch them with the thunder wave. That's true. <laughs> this on thunder from a high elf. When you have those gone. Sonic boom. So you guys, you guys see the, um, uh, you see this this massive stalagmite. Uh, Come in, come into view. Coming from, from the ceiling or the stalagmite oh. on the ground. I'm sorry. Stalag so we've had a long rest since then. Yes, presumably. Yes. Not okay. me. So we're all like mule. We're all at we're all full set. hit points, etc. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, no, we rested. All right. We slept. Yeah. Giant stalagmite. So, uh, you know, coming up the outcast. Do you mind if I? Describe a little bit. Absolutely, you, you so, know more about the city than I do. So uh, there, there's two entrances. There's actually two entry uh, land entrances to uh, Outcast. There's an enormous stalagmite, like uh, Ted said, has been carved uh, to to make it create a lot of flat surfaces that uh, house a walled city. Uh, there's two long land bridges leading up to the city. Uh, of course, it, you know there's various lights of. Um, you know, fluorescent pur uh, purples and greens and different witch fire type colors that flicker off the walls. Uh, standing, you know, at the at the entrance to the the bridge are two. Um, what at first you mistake them for suits of armor, uh, but it seems to be crafted out of some kind of pearlescent shell-like material. And as you get closer, you realize that the suits of armor are actually the individuals. Uh, they're constructs, humanoid, humanoid size and shaped constructs, forged of uh, woods, metals, and stone, and uh, where you know a breastplate and gleaves and stuff, and that type of, type of stuff would be on on armor. Instead, is this uh, pearly white uh, material? Uh, the the one that kind of presents himself 
uh, more forward as in his companion, um, where a lot of where the other companion is is smooth with that white pearl like substance. His seems to have uh, sharp sharp points worked in into it. It's so almost like a, a bladed gauntlet. Um, you know, his 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 pauldrons are the the, the same way. While his companion has a, a large pike at his side, this this one has a um, a sword made of the same material on his on his left left hip, and his right uh, uh, right uh, crap gauntlet right right gauntlet right right arm uh, armor section Vambrace. actually Vambrace, That's Vambrace. the word I'm looking for. Damn it. Uh, actually seems to be worked out almost as if there is a shield built into his arm itself. I, I have some actions. So, uh, are we at the town gate yet? Yes. You're, All right, before we approach the town gate, I'm casting Greater Invisibility. I'm moving gear within the carts to make room for my body. And as soon as we see the captain of the guard, I'm going to magic jar him and take his body. Are you telling anyone of this plan? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> so at I'll that point, on the way all that will happen is, is yeah, go ahead. I'll mention on the way to say, ah, the Dragar city of outcasts. Ah, we can meet my friend Ivar Hammerfist there. He has many connections and will allow us to move our goods and uh, make our return trip all the faster. Hmm. Excellent. I would like to get rid of them profitably but quickly so we can head back. Yes. And we can also hopefully get some renown from these people since we have opened up their trade routes again. So we have. And there so, is nothing that they like more than the flow of gold. Are those blood cutlers the only ones that were down there doing that? Well, the giant. If, if there's a city of them somewhere, right? Or there's more than they, the ten we offed. There has to be. Well, I don't know. There, so there's there was ten of them, right? But one of them was a leader, so he was more powerful and a spellcaster. Yeah, and, right. and they summoned that stupid blood giant. giant. Yeah, right. You, you yeah, guys no. know that what was there would have been a a deadly fight had it not been for them all except one turning against each other. And. Yeah. And anybody that was less equipped than us, like a normal caravan, would probably have been killed in oh, one yeah. round. Can you imagine a bunch of first or up through fifth level known guards? Yeah, I'd have been dead with the, just fighting that giant thing. Mm -hmm. It was 91 points in one round. On average. Oh, he does, uh, when, you, when you do that, he'll get a charisma save at 15. Give that out, or no, that got spent. He tossed it to you. And you spent I spent it. it. I, I taught, I was inspiring yeah, you, you in your uh, in your successful cachet finding. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so you're doing this to the guy at the gate, or once you actually get inside, uh, at the gate, it'll, it'll smooth our the one with the pike or the sword, <laughs> the guy with the pike or the sword, or the captain. Oh, Scott, I can't talk you out of it because my character he's, doesn't know about he's it. He's presented himself <laughs> as. The one to talk to over the over the other one. Oh, he him. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I'll go right up to him. All right. Nope. Well, I don't know what that means. All right, I mean, I failed. Oh, great. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know if it was no that hit. So he didn't fit. What is your business see? here in the city? <laughs> Do I know this? They don't know I'm talking to them. It's Do I know the lot of the game? Uh, th this particular one, no. I mean, th th he's he stands out. Um, most most of the forged, as they are as they are referred to, uh, in, in Outcast, do have more of a, a sleek design to their outer plating. Uh, this this particular one, he seems far more pointy. So this isn't a construct I'm talking to. This is a guy in armor. Or no, am I talking to the? It's a construct. living construct. All right. Oh, okay. now, more forged. Now one sorry. thing they They're make. Okay. We we call them forged in our world. Okay, they weren't, made, they weren't made for war here, they were made for something else. So one thing they may catch is, you know, so um, Asen is in the back of the cart, right? But he needed to be able to see this guy, right? So as soon as he passes, so what happens is 
My soul passes into the guard. The guard's soul passes into the jar that Boken has always carried, right? <laughs> um, and then uh, at that point, the I assume the invisibility spell will drop. Boken just kind of drags that uh, the blanket, the tarp over. Yeah, so they may see her mo subtly move a tarp six inches and his head drop down. I spoke as an assassin. Well, I'm, I'm going to assume with their passive perception of 20, it's something you do see. Yeah. Not knowing what he does to... Boken like, winks at you. Whether you... Whether you actually pick up on what that means is, I don't oh, know. Oh, but Boken, Boken will, you know, since this is the first time we're doing this, Boken will wink at you like, that. it's okay, it's cool, no worries. I have no idea what you're doing. My character would have no idea what you're doing. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's I will say the uh, formal... Uh, the, the thing that all Dregar always say to each other, live long and prosper <laughs> <laughs> to the guardsmen. I, uh, I tromp up uh, to introduce myself and, and, and check these things out because uh, as a craftsman, these things are magnificent. I am like trying to like walk circles around them and like inspect them and, and I might be muttering, muttering things to myself about the craftsmanship and how well they're made. And, and I'm, You're and, dude. I, I and I'm looking for a maker's mark. He's looking at your butt. <laughs> that's yeah, maybe. Awesome. That's where you put Maker's Mark. <laughs> oh, wait, this is an actual dude, right? Yeah. Yeah. But you took him over, right? But he's, yes. a, he's a living construct. So he, he's looking at what? You. Oh. you. He, he thinks it's it's someone something that's been made. Oh. But I'll say, I, I, I got nothing here. You're, yeah. You, yeah, that's true. This is you. I'll say, um, are you not familiar with our kind? I am not. And, and uh, well, not completely. Like, I pull Rune out of my pocket and... And uh, it's this, it's this multifaceted, almost like a D12 uh, stone that has runes carved all over it. Cool. And uh, and uh, I say awaken in dwarven, and with that, you know, it kind of shudders a little bit and then kind of uh, stands up. It stands. It stands oh, up into a little tiny golem. A little, little tiny uh, creature about like this. And uh, cool. Well, I will say most fascinating. Well met, sir. But again, I will ask my question. What what is your business here? Uh, commerce. We've come for commerce, and we've uh, we've also uh, sorted out a problem you've been having as well, I believe. Uh, we so must speak with your uh, merchant guildmaster as soon as possible, for we have joyous news. Hmm. Well, this does seem to be an unusual amount of people escorting this hall and an unusual group. You are welcome to come into the city. But I will be accompanying you. <laughs> Let us proceed. Yeah, and at that point I'll say, um, you'll be watching the gate yourself today, sir. To the other uh, guard. Well, sir, we're supposed to always be in pairs. Are you going to send another to replace you? Of course. He'll be along shortly. Thank you, Blake. <laughs> 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 I can't see how this could possibly go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's really no. funny. <laughs> now, as soon as we're past the gate, Boken will explain to everyone what's happened. So, guys out there in uh, Adventureland, the, the things you've seen happen tonight are why I don't normally take campaigns to this level. <laughs> Magic jar! <laughs> <laughs> Henri will say, what have you done? I like say, why should I be? Why should I walk around in the city in my own body when I can take this guard's place and get us access to places we would not and normally what have? What do you do with the guard's soul when you are finished? Uh, it will return to his body. And how do you think that he will feel? <laughs> and what ramifications do you think that will have for well, all so trade they, between the two cities? Well, so now so that one know. city has basically declared war on the other one. What you are discussing are the concerns of a baker or a farmer. We, within this group, are adventurers. <laughs> <laughs> I have the concerns of a diplomat. Aren't you, uh, as a bard, supposed to write tales of things like this? <laughs> would you be writing tales if I had not taken this man's soul? Oh, I will write a, a tale. It would be a tale of folly. But a tale indeed. A tale indeed. Keep your pen ready. Oh, absolutely. Right. They'll be so, laughing in the aisle. Sure, uh, sure, go. Uh... You, but the problem is you don't know what we're, where we're going. 
Well, I will say to you, Arbalace, and of course I respect your wisdom, and uh, the one thing I would say is these are new spells, and this type of spell is not just another fireball that Boken would cast here or there. These type of spells must be used to see what they can do. They must be employed. So is Lucky familiar with uh, Outcast? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, Lucky, so, Lucky has been here before. He has often. he has done uh, done business here before. He 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 does in fact have at least one contact here, uh, yeah. which you do have, correct? Yes. You had, you had made mention I, of. You told me it was Ivar Hammerfist in okay. the city of Outcast. So did Ted inform you how uh, basically it's kind of like anything goes here, but they do have laws, and they're enforced very harshly. Like. Don't possess anybody and take their soul and stick it in a jar? It, well, it, it, that might be in there somewhere. <laughs> Guess who does the enforcing? <laughs> <laughs> I've taken over the police force. Everything is fine. <laughs> now, uh, who watches the watchers? So let me put it this way. I plan to spend very little time in my own body from now on. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Now, uh, I do not give you permission to enter my body in any way from shape or form. <laughs> Dark skinned one. I'm thinking. I'm as thinking, much as you would be tempted. No. no. Uh, I'm thinking uh, this. Can he uh, see in here? Uh, he he is, is in the jar and he can see it here from the jar. He can't take any actions. I will apologize as of for right now. Jar. Oh, he's completely aware that this has happened. Yes. You didn't even put him in a sack. No, she's carrying the jar. Boken always has the jar. It's in her face. She, she's probably like rattling it around and stuff because she's kind of crazy. Well, check it out. She, see, I'm. I didn't choose this spell. <laughs> she has had this jar all the time. I had to take this spell. <laughs> you had no choice. Exactly. He's, Absolutely. He's, he's completely. Oh, sorry. Uh, I guess I completely faultless in this. Well. I think Boken might be right. Whatever. I'll apologize it's, it's to the jar. It's too late to argue about it now, guys. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, business done. Yeah. Yeah. So it, she, it not. She's actually sitting there okay. whispering, having, having you know, a one-sided conversation with the, the, the jar. Let's uh, get to my contact as fast as possible. Yes, agreed. Agree. All right, so, I hope she's uh, selling the experience of something I don't know what else is there. Doing. There's the jar. Okay. She's always had that. <laughs> so are yeah, you going to I hope she's selling the experience yeah. <laughs> illusory take point so that you're following the the construct but guiding him or are you going to walk in front of him oh I see I will walk um, one step back and to the right and so you can guide him so there I can speak with thing. him thought of voice and uh him. All right. Cool. So, you guys traverse through the city um, with our carts and our <laughs> ankles and boars and <laughs> constructs. Now, constructs. When we overheard him say that there needs to be a second guard, where would that second guard come from? Oh, that's true. I will keep an eye out. I will send a second guard if I see one, like, oh, yes. we'll send buying bread guard. or drinking beer. I'll say, hey, get to the gate. Uh, make a perception check. We'll see All right. There's a chance you got it. Just <laughs> pick some random. All right, I rolled yeah. a three. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> I think it's way more important that you make a perception check. <laughs> All right, so you get to uh, Light Hammer, his, uh, his shop. Uh, on the, his, his name is is more of a lie. He is not not the the smithy you might expect him to be, but uh, he is a, a doorgar that has been cast further down the, uh, the the spire or however you want to look at it. And but he he does hold sway over a, a large section of the merchant district. But he's not one of the ones anymore. Bonsoir. I have uh, successfully accomplished a uh, very profitable trading engagement. Also, I understand that the city has had some problems with uh, blood cultists interrupting trade with your close partners, the Gnomish City, which would never do anything to attack you or upset anyone in the city. <laughs> <laughs> of the, uh, that they would know. Uh, I don't know whether I'd call them friends, but... Oh, no. But partners. 
business. Business acquaintance. Business acquaintance. Acquaint. That's, uh, oh, that's cool. Speaking of such, I am uh, a release of House Paradam, and I come bearing trade, much needed trade goods. And uh, as well as, and I will reveal, do the tarp reveal of all the helmets. And, oh, look, a body. I'm going to do a little, like, greeting. As long as we're not on the street. Like the street. We're like, we're like back like, behind a wall, right? I'm not like going to reveal like, a yeah, body. I was carrying all the crap. Okay. Well, Bokin can explain Well, you were that. pulling a car. All right. <laughs> so, the... Uh, the blood cultists that had been interrupting your trade have been dealt with. Mm. That's uh, quite a lot of helmets you got there. At least well, one trooper. We must keep the helmets uh, for proof of the uh, free uh, uh, open tradeways uh, as this was for, our uh, engagement with the... There was the, a promise of, of, from you guys were saying you were going to do eight. Yeah. So that would leave... Uh, Says I mean... Two, two extras. Okay. Why well, look up? Well, we uh, do have a few. No, it was six. There were only six of us. Well, yes, room. but then he he had Boken and Sikrik step up and say, "We'll we'll bring you know one back for us as well." That's up to you guys as whether you want to go the extra mile. So it's anywhere from two to four spare helmets. Well, I would say there's two spare helmets. Yeah, I mean they've already committed. Yeah, we already said one. That's fine. Who wants who want those helmets? Nobody wants those blood drenched. No, no, he helmets. wants them as proof, that's all. Right, yeah. He wants them as proof, and he wants yeah. to keep one. Oh, you do want to keep one? No, I don't want one. Nobody. Really? He Nobody was talking about keeping one. Yeah. No, no. Oh, I thought you were. Oh, no, no. no I, I was thinking about selling them, but it sounds like it's not. That's vile. Do. They're vile. Uh, so, uh. <laughs> you're looking to unload for a quick. Profit? Are you looking to sit and haggle within the city? What's your the game? gnomes are uh, expecting us back very we soon. We do have so some quick time. So I'm trying to overtalk the dog. We do have some time available to us, but I'm sure my companions will like a speedier journey, so in the interest of time, I would be in, uh, okay with losing some uh, profit to be gained by spending more time. So. <laughs> He, uh, he's like, so, you know I'm not, uh, not one to haggle every time we, we've done this, hmm. given you a fair deal. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> as true as you know. <laughs> so, uh, you want me to look over and count coins? Well, in the interest of maintaining uh, trade relations with uh, Glimmermere, I'm certain, you certain that you will give us a appropriate price. So he he calls over his uh, uh, over his shoulder in, uh, in in Goblin. Do any of you speak it? Goblin? No. You no, know, I that have a terrible language. Okay. Well, yes, I do. You know <laughs> Goblin? I know Goblin. All right. So he 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 says bootleg. And bootleg. Bootleg. Okay. And out comes uh, a, a scrawny looking looking goblin, uh, <laughs> barely two and a half feet tall. Uh, this four foot dwarf towers over him, and he, he comes out with a little a little abacus, and his uh, his spectacles <laughs> which are cracked on one side, and you know he he come he comes out and says, all right. Put up, put up whatever, whatever it is you want, want counted. Okay. And the the little creature climbs over whatever have you, and you know, he's mo moving his little abacus like crazy, uh, look looking over uh, everything. Now, out of character, we would have discussed the helmets on the way here. I don't see selling these helmets. I think we should turn them all into the thane. As proof of our prowess, yeah. oh, yeah. Yeah. that's what we were doing. Well, I mean, just saying, per our agreement, one per person. Oh, there are extras. Yeah, there are extras. So I think uh, the extra helmets would would uh, lend credence to your cause. You have to. Well, it's, I, I guess you, it's a balance between making money 
and objecting, uh, uh, reaching your, your, your quest objective. Aside from the money earned by it, I would say that uh, instead, uh, perhaps the uh, fine dwarves here, who <laughs> have been hurt by these mm. uh, brigands as well, would want to have some uh, proof, which is why I hold this okay. skull into the cart. That's a good point. So, quick, quick chatter between uh, uh, Bootlick and Lighthammer and hmm. Red Steel, which is it. Well, that's right. We have ten suits of Red Steel too. Oh yeah. Nice. Are Are you looking to sell them as well? Uh, is there a market here for that? Uh, it's it's fine quality. It, it, it is. It is good. It's good steel. It's you know while, while there are definitely ways to. You know, tint or you know, color metal. This seems to have been worked in the actual process itself. Um, it's, it's it's rare. Absolutely more. So it depends on what you guys want to actually do with it. Yeah, I'm not looking to save anything from them. They disgust me. Okay. Um, yeah, wait, let's sell it because yeah, it's just gonna weigh us down. That, yeah. Okay. Um, We're down the so, anyway. Yeah. So uh, he. We're he, not selling the goods we found though. We're bringing that back, right? Well, yeah, because they could. Right. I think probably yeah. because they could be from originally the. Yeah. Oh. So. So the stuff that you bought, we're selling. The suits we're selling. Uh, but not the cachet of stuff that the yes. blood dwarves yeah. sorry, so, stole. Stole. Yeah. So we're returning that for good. That we're returning. Right. Right. Yeah. So I think that's plenty good. So I don't. That's even more than we promised. Yeah, I think that's a brilliant idea. So. He br he breaks it down for you. That he'll do 3,400 gold for the trade goods, 2,000 gold for the armors, and he offers 500 gold for a single helmet, just as as proof here to kind of reestablish uh, mercantile with uh, the outgoing. All right. So yeah, we're, yeah. we're yeah. looking at. Good. That's uh, 5900, yes. and then you have to take a thousand off for Mark, a thousand off for me. So that is 3900, and then Mark <laughs> gets a certain amount of that. Um, Wait, I thought you already took that out. No, no. he gets 700 of that for putting up the money. So that's 3200 left? And then we can split the rest. 3,200 divided by 6, 600 piece. Yeah. Yeah. So I have 17, 6, yeah. 2,300. Yeah. Nice. Well, no, you would have gotten 1,700 yeah. for that. So for 1,700 and then 550. Because you would have yeah, spent the 1,000. You got 700 plus off of what you had. Plus, oh. You spent 1000 okay, you got 2250 yeah. yeah, I know so that. 1300 yeah, you said you said correctly. 23 I said. The 1000 you already spent, so it's just yeah. recouping your 1000 yeah, yeah, that's coming back. There's still a 1000 That's a 1000 yeah, yeah. And you said 700 for something 700 else. 700 and 600 yeah. All right, so that's 17 yeah. And then he just said uh, 550. 550 on top of that, which is 2250 2250 Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. So, yeah. All right. So, uh, we good? It is a pleasure working yes. with you. Thank you, you for your speedy transaction. You, you know that that was a hundred under what yeah. you, you were planning to get. But yeah. You also, you know that if you would have spent the next day, you could have probably made several hundred more on yeah. top of that, but it's it's a time, time yeah. thing. Oh, yes. That's no that's definitely. So, um, and please let the merchant chief know that it was Henri Dombre Noir and his excellent friends who cleared the trade route for you. Yep. Uh, what are we going to do about this situation? Which situation? We're, we're headed back to the mountains, right? Oh, yes, we are, but we seem to have a captive. No, well, we should drop him off. Well, once we clear the gates and get a head start. <laughs> Ah, yes, but the problem is... I didn't take Modify Memory as a spell. Well, oh. at that time, you can learn it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to sit down and learn it? Well, it, it would fit. Well, the biggest... Okay, so at this point, he has seen everything, right? Mm -hmm. um, and really, we've caused him absolutely no harm. 
So Asen will deal with that. Dereliction of duty, you know. <laughs> nothing major in the <clears throat> Violated his sanctity of being. <laughs> He's a robot. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Robots are people too. All right. Yeah. I have an idea. Oh, and I had cast Gentle Repose on the body. I didn't think I had it for some reason, but I have it. So. I don't Actually, want, I don't want this. The weird thing is, I don't really need to drop it. I can stay here. Right. Yeah, you want to be a robot for the rest of your. Uh... There's really no downside for not leaving the body. Well, your body is like in a comatose state, right? Like, does it have to eat? But the point is, if he dies, I get to go, I get a save to go back to my own body. <laughs> and like he's probably physically superior to you. I, I'm now like essentially immortal. <laughs> oh Uh-oh. my god! This is how all good necromancers go bad. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's, he's not even a necromancer. <laughs> well, you know, everybody gets a hand on necromancy skills. Oh yeah. So I don't have anything to help you with this. I do. It's called an axe. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not that's not going to be any good. All right. So, are we ready to leave the city? Yes. Yeah. We're All right. So, I, I actually, in, in I say, I am going to keep this person and take him back to the to what's what the hey, kit. That won't that won't be appropriate at all. <laughs> what would be the problem? <laughs> the problem is you just enslaved another being and captured yeah. his soul. Slavery is not legal in Griffin Gaff. Hello, so you're a Griffin Gaff right report here, on alignment change. <laughs> you're, you're a Griffin Gaff citizen. He's already had at least one of them. Can he leave that mm. bottle if he wishes? Uh, as soon as I find a better, <laughs> a better this? ride, I will free him. Oh, wow. So I walk up to Boke and I'm like, that's him in the jar? Correct. And he's trapped in this jar. What happens yes. if the jar breaks? That's what we're going to oh, find out. I'm going to swing my axe at the Boken, jar. Boken holds up her sand. Will you really take that action? Then perhaps Aeson will free him. We cannot keep a slave. We cannot imprison him. It, uh, I have lived in so a be it. society based on slavery. It is, Find somebody uh, there. You do not like. wish to descend <laughs> into that. All right, so um, I will actually, we will choose where we'll do this. Um, I will take to him to a place where it's private, like just a, a building, and then I will, I will come back into my body and explain to him what has happened. <laughs> oh, man. I'm right. willing to have you sure you want to do this in the well, city? Then I will cast Suggestion and suggest that this is all for the best. We did this deliberately so he would see the heroic things that we had done for the city <laughs> and that it was a great idea uh, and that he should just probably keep it to himself. He should just go with and it. And go with just it. Just let it go. And here's 50 gold to help you go with it. And here's 50 gold. You can, gonna give you, you can um, it. split it with the other person <laughs> at the gate. <sighs> All right, I, I'm not gonna require rolls here because that's good. That's that's a good good plan. And the combo suggestion magic plus money. Suggestion plus <laughs> money. Scott, I'm relegating you to a fighter. <laughs> Lawyers, guns, and money. Did you, re- did you say you're relegating him to a fighter? <laughs> it was a jest, but yes. <laughs> I mean, it's an entire set of HP that's available. Whatever. Come on. What? That is definitely an evil act. Yeah. <laughs> to, to enslave a goodly person, I'd right. say. But perhaps if he's, he's an evil back. person. He's neutral evil, but oh, evil yeah. not the same. But okay. y- you, using it real- temporarily is evil. Saying that I'm just going to treat other people's souls as... Uh, you know, I don't care if I'm imprisoning them so I can have their body. That's like hardcore. That's hardcore villainy. <laughs> yeah, I have free. I have I'm just I'm le- I'm letting you know we've already had one one force alignment. Well, that's my point. I have four more to go, right? <laughs> well, if, I'm sorry. I clapped what are they for? Like, what are they there for? <laughs> if, if, that, if that ship <laughs> goes this way and then down, there's I'm at chaotic, so it would go to neutral and then it'll go down to neutral. Lawful and then neutral and neutral good. I could do this five times. Well, no, like, I could take you. I could take you right. If, if you go, forget, forget the like. Vertical. You're not. You're not gonna you go the vertical. I got two. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Your neck. Your neck shift off of this. If you were to push it, you would be dropping. You know, down. You'd be going to chaotic neutral. 
Okay, that's, and that's hanging a hanging arm. out with with Bokin is not good for you if you're trying to stay. Was well, this her influence? I don't think I, so. I, I think Scott's <laughs> influence. I, it must be her influence. Was he like this before he yes. took her on as an apprentice? Oh my god. He well, there was some signs. Oh, <laughs> there was. Some well, maybe signs. she's good for all. <laughs> his uh, his old mentor. Disowned. Yeah, that was where the he problem started. He didn't get started. disowned. He he's, he, he, he tried reprimanded. to set him right, and rather than rather than saying, "Okay, I need to correct my ways," he's like, "Well, fine, f you. I'm I'm gonna go crazy." So good. Okay. He's you been hanging out with my boy. All right. <laughs> he is so free. are we on our way back to the uh, other city now? You're on your on your way back. Right. Uh, any anybody feel like being inspired? Sure. All right. So, what happens during the during the journey? I have to pull another on the way back. On the way from Outcast to Volgrim, what happens? Well, I'll tell you what happens. <laughs> <laughs> this Nimrod sets the guy loose. Did did his suggestion spell take? Yeah, you you guys you guys got out of the city without any yeah. further ramifications, and he believes. Now, Blade believes that it's it's best to to just keep this to himself. There's no no need to get a ruckus about it. Well, okay. the fifty gold helped. I'm sure. Yeah, the fifty gold did. definitely helped oh, because be the the saying in Outcast is coin spends. Some of the time, I may call on you. So we're going back. We're heading back, <laughs> and uh, it's all well and good till we get to the point where we got ambushed the first time, and you can see. Uh, more footprints that shouldn't be there and if you look at the uh, area where we found the their loot um, you can see that that looks like it was heaved about too like someone looked through it or whatever someone definitely had a temper tantrum towards the entrance and uh, but we we didn't we're not sure if there were any of them still there when we came through. Um, oh, someone alive. I, I would yeah. need a perception check to see if anybody noticed anything. Like, well, no, this is, you're, you're, you're taking you're taking um, you're taking player agency. So you know, you're just telling me what what transpired. Okay. There was another 500 blood dwarves. <laughs> we slew them mightily. <laughs> and then oh, we yeah. rode home on the wave of cash. That's how they were yeah, and uh, yeah, we that. think we think there's more of them, but we don't know exactly where there are. There, there might. Uh, uh, let's see, who who's who would investigate them? Because we don't have our rogue. He has investigate. He has investigate. Who yeah. would know? So or survival. He you know, looks around. Um, well, I have survival. survival. You go into. Should, you yeah, follow the tracks survival. into their little cubby. And something you didn't see the last time we were in there, you seen some tracks going off, like towards the wall, and you see you're like yeah you're at the wall, and you see half a footprint right mm -hmm. here. The other half would be under the wall. Mm -hmm. There's also a little cage. It has a blood tyrant skull on it, <laughs> or a death tyrant, I mean. And there's a jar that says forbidden. <laughs> <laughs> You've done well. <laughs> Have another jar. And the rest of it was uneventful? Yeah. Yeah. What? The rest of it was uneventful. Okay. Yeah. Unless you want to go investigate well, that. Yeah. Well, oh, oh, so, that? so, all right, going off of that, we find, you know, I use my stone cutting to find the false stonework, and uh, and we open and reveal the secret door. Okay. Um, and, and it it winds up into a larger a larger cavern. And in, in here, we can see that there's probably ten times the number that was that we encountered in, in, in boot prints. Uh, it leads to the far side of this cavern where someone has caused an avalanche. And inspecting it, I can see that there was actually keystones that have been removed to, to cause it to uh, fall so that there, the way couldn't be followed. It's just so the rest of the so stuff. Somebody found out that people so so the, the operation that we shut down was merely the sp spearhead mm. of something larger and so it was successful so we won the battle but not the war sweet 
Back hit too. I don't have oh, to thanks. change my character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, well done, Mark. That was your, your first time using agency, wasn't it? Very good. What'd you say? That was the first time that you, you, you took agency, wasn't it? Yeah, I guess. Since I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> what you just did. What, yes, you, you wrote the story. You wrote the story for, for part of the campaign. Okay. You did Ted's job. Ted owes you like an hour's worth of pay now. <laughs> <laughs> and DM currency. Cheap, so. Which <laughs> pays really badly. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Keeps that amount, too. So you make it back to to Rin with uh, the, the the loot in tow and the body in tow. Gently reposing body. Yes. Loot body. The uh, leader of the yeah. group. Uh, because are you cast gently gentle repose? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's been. It's been it's been small and stank. Yeah. So. I'll clean the blood. Yeah, and what's that Demeldorf? What's his name? <laughs> so it's the noodle guy. Roof noodle. Roof, roof, roof noodle. noodle. Yeah. I, I take your helmet noodle. right to his roof. chest. Oh. Here's your helmet. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are you proceeding to, to do this? Because you're clearly not going to bring all of the stuff that you rescued to the city. You're going to take it all to the Citadel? Yeah, yeah I think yeah, we should yeah, show it really, off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll clean up one of the carts really nice. That'll be quite the Hose it down a little bit. Loudly draw it through the city. Yeah, it's huh. quite the entrance. Yeah, we're coming back with more we, than we, 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 Now, not only are we the heroes of Griffin Gaff, we're the heroes of Velgrim, too. Oh, Velgrim. And to some point, outcast. Yeah, we got to show it off for the peasants. It's a little shady on that side, though. <laughs> it, it was yeah, somewhat actually, marred. Loken's idea that they would do the wall might be a little more viable now. Yeah, there you go. The good news is the train route is clear. The bad news is you might be at war with two different armies. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I think that guy's good for. I paid him off. Yeah. Money talks. Yeah, so we should set it up so it's like presentable and uh, carry it on in. So, you guys get there. You, know, you, you, you send a, a, a runner in to have. Roof noodle come out because you're not going to get the wagons into the no, no. You got to go upstairs and to the double doors. And no, just to the the, foyer, the, the front entrance, the, yeah. the front courtyard. Okay. Should have got a, a shower. <laughs> we we can't carry that. We should have had a few couriers. Oh no, I'm singing the song, the song of the, the hero's tale of how the way was cleared and and the so, trade route was reestablished. The way was once shut, but now it is clear. Yes. Roof, roof noodle comes out. It's been it's been several days, and you would have thought that the outfit he was wearing a few days ago was obnoxious. He somehow found something more obnoxious than that, <laughs> and uh, he, he he comes out. And as opposed to the the large conical hat, uh, it's uh, it's one that's got it flared out to the side. So there's like lots of things that are all moving and dangling. Uh, with every with every step, and some of them bangle, and some of them jingle, and quite quite noisy as he as he moves. And he's like, "Wow, so you've uh, you've returned? <laughs> you sound surprised." Wow. No, I mean you you, you said you would do it, did you? Yes. And we course. start we start plunking helmets down at his feet. Well, we took all of them, right? We didn't sell any. So yeah. we sold one. 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 So there would be oh yeah, yeah. Kind of to prove and then, that the way is and for good measures, we throw the other one at his feet. So then we have the uh, the leader of that small band and the goods that had been stolen. We have returned to your city. Oh, and by the way, there's a bigger problem. So he he goes oh, over to, to look at the body, <laughs> and you know, I, I I failed to. You know, mentioned this earlier, but you guys have seen it so many times. At least these guys have. Uh, the, you know, on the on the forehead, there's the the, the three three blood droplet scar car, carved in uh, the sigil of Narkitas once again. Yes. Uh, so it is it is clear that there are, there's you know continued interconnectivity. Well, that's that's certainly uh, certainly one of them. Uh, that's, I said quite a lot of helmets, so uh, it is uh, best that we live up to the the rest of the the bargain. 
sure is. And uh, the, the, the trade goods as well seems to be to be here. This this seems to be a, a, a large shipment of stuff that we were expecting from uh, from Outcast. Yes, a uh, an, an act of goodwill from us to you. We will, we will see that that act uh, returned in, in in kind. So uh, I, I believe you had requested that upon arrival and the successful completion that you wish to see the thing. We do. Hensley. The old then immediately. Then let us then let us be off. I'm so thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> I think the thing's gonna be harder to load magic jar. all the gems in the carts. <laughs> <laughs> I must heavily Bye. reward these people. <laughs> Go ahead. What the heck was the quest? Give him all the money. It's my new favorite spell. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna. He, he, he's what he really wants to do is magic jar Narkitas himself <laughs> and take over. Well, there you go. <laughs> I changed my mind. Yeah, Narkitis all of a sudden got more evil. evil. <laughs> Man, what, what was this slow process you were working on? <laughs> can't, can't we step this up? <laughs> well, there you go. Find a unicorn. Magic jar. Please, oh, kill me. I'll Thanks. take care of that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. We've got a, a front man for the unicorn yeah, job. Yeah. All right. So... He, he brings you in, and you're, you're led into the, the magnificent throne room, and what you saw in that outer chamber was magnificent, but it pales in comparison to the throne room, and that is pale in comparison to the throne itself. I, uh, the, the, the gnome stands... At, at, his, at his throne, huge amongst gnomes at over three and a half feet tall. Oh, I thought the major dome was going to turn out to be the thing. That would have been funny. <laughs> it was no, me all along. No, no. Um, no. T tasteful and, and, and elegant, solidly built. He's 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 you know bred of nobility, but he is clearly. Done, uh, done, done his fair share of, of work as well. Uh, he's, he's older, but his muscles are still taunt from you know, so, some kind of exercise or what, toy, what have like you. Like a toy god. Yeah. I will uh, bow deeply, sweeping my, my, my beard across the ground as I do. Mm. You know, trying to lower myself even lower than this minuscule man. <laughs> Greetings, Thane, and uh, many thanks for seeing us. I switch my hands, which hands hold well my cane, and I do a graceful up about him. Greetings and, and welcome to my, uh, my my chambers. You have you have done uh, a double good service to, to my city, and uh, I'm I'm told you are here with a number. Tasks or quests. You've you come to me for multiple purposes. How uh, how how might I answer this call? Well, let us begin with a towel, the towel of found leaf blade, and then you know I'll we'll start at the very beginning to the to the to the uh, the triumph of the the heroes of the, the original heroes of the town, to the disgrace of found leaf blade. To the rise and fall of the, of the Narkitas and, and Narkitas' forces, uh, and to finally, you know, all we know of of the uh, of the, the, the spear and its uh, so, recreation. So, typically, you would expect someone to, when you're getting into this this level, for someone to like, yeah, all right, I'm doing my watch thing, but he he he, he wait, waits with the. Uh, the the, the, pa the patience of the ancients, and he, he listens intently, and he, it's not like he's just like, oh come on, shut the frick up already. He's he's clearly invested in in what you're saying. Yeah, uh, a couple I, a couple of times he'll actually stop, and ask a question. Like, okay, you know, what, 
can you go with a little bit more detail? He's and I don't leave out any of the stuff like yeah, you know, the possess how the dagger possessed me, how it how it tried to take over the new mayor, um, yeah, how how it's tried to co coerce other members of the party, and uh, you know the, the 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 doppelganger working with you know with them and, and, and trapping the mayor. Like all of that stuff, the orcs in the in the mountains, and the you know the orc fiend that uh, is, is trying to get the de the spear back to rally the forces uh, of Narkitis. You're saying you're keeping all that out? No, he's yeah. telling. He's saying wow, wow. He's wow. giving all the details. And then uh, uh, I, I top it all off with. I will show my eye for the killing of the doppelganger. Um, I top that all off with the fact that. You know, with great disdain, and almost like you see the pain on my face as, as, as I say, blood dwarves are rallying just beyond the walls of your city, between here and the outcast, and, and, and tell them about the discovery. Do you mention the need for the light of the light? Well, yeah, that's the culmination of the story. It comes to the need for the light of the light. In order, in order to, to get rid of the spear, you need these these things, and you give them the. The, the list of the four. Yes, and yeah, I produced the the tears of the, the tears of the angel, tear of the angel. <laughs> well, to uh, what manner is the the light of the light needed in in this ritual? Um, we don't actually know, do we? Uh, we, 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 uh, so, so the the unicorn represents sacrifice. Uh -huh. The death tyrant represents destruction. Uh -huh. um, the tear of the angels. What was that? Loss. Sorrow. Remorse. Remorse. Okay, and then the light of the light was purity. Purity. Yes. So um, you know, we believe that the the spear, once all these ingredients are put together, the uh, the spear must be doused in the, all the materials, and then bathed in the light of the light of the light for purity. So, is it merely a wish to borrow it? Do you wish to? Ever remove it from my city? Here, here is what I know. The spear is the, from what we understood, what was explained to us, the spear was not necessarily going to be destroyed, but permanently changed. We don't actually know what's going to happen to the components to bring about this change and cleanse the evil from it, from this artifact. So, do we need to remove move it from your city? I do not believe so. But I cannot say it will survive the process. I do not know. Well, we do not well, even know what's well, Don't we have to take it back to is. that wizard guy back in Griffin Yeah, but I, I feel like worst case scenario is we could probably bring him back here. So, so here is here is the the, the challenging thing. You, Master Dwarf, know of those that reside. Beneath you, good, uh, good drow, you know most of all of the darkness that is in the beneath, and yet it is not only a place where my kind survive, but we thrive down here. We have found a way to literally carve out a home and with beholders, illithids, drow, doragar, the denizens of my city are still able to smile on a daily basis. I believe the only reason that is is because we possess the light of the light and behind him on the wall on, on the wall which you thought was just uh, merely a light source there is a gem that is bigger than he is 
And as you truly gaze upon it for the first time, you you bask in its glow. And any feelings that you have in a goodly nature, they are brought to your to your forebear and they, it's almost enough to make you cry. And to, to those of you that so want to... So feels nothing. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, <laughs> like, um, like, I could spend that. <laughs> to, 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 to those of you that, that, that would, that you, might, that. you might actually you know, fall, to your, fall to your knees and weep. That's completely uh, up, up to, you know, to, to each of you. But it is the most base pure goodness that you have ever felt including when you were in the presence of the angel interesting hmm. wow. so in theory there's other snarf neblin um, uh, communities and strongholds and and uh, and cities or towns or whatever so clearly, you know, you might be over exaggerating the the need for the light of the light here a little bit because if they found unless they all have one. <laughs> so. Well, so are, are you saying that or are you just? Uh, yeah, I am kind of like not not in those terms. A little more tactful. <laughs> like, uh, is there other snarf nebbling? Sh- Yo, uh, communities in the beneath. Like you're not the. This isn't the only one. There are others. I do not believe that they live the way we live. It's possible that on a daily basis they have to fear for their lives. It's possible that their suicide rates are so much higher than ours. I, I will. I'll step forward. I'll say, um, clearly, what you have here, uh, I believe, is completely unique, and there is nothing like it. We cannot promise you that the ritual will not destroy it. If it is not destroyed, I can tell you, I don't believe anyone here would keep it from your your city even a day longer than it was necessary uh, to to destroy Narcetus's tool. And then I'll say, what I will echo again is the destruction that Nagarchias has caused, the deaths, the lives, the corruption. As good as this is, Nagarchias is that evil. We truly need your help to aid us in this. <laughs> Could not the fortune of your city be the result of good leadership, not just a gem <laughs> on the wall? It is, it is entirely possible. And I, I do have, have the, uh, the foresight to see beyond uh, the, the mere destruction of a thing and the ramifications that it could hold. So you, you, have, you have said that you seek four things and you have, you have claimed one. Correct. So, I will make a vow here, and it shall stand. And I will, I will hold my line to it, should something happen to me. Should you acquire the other two, you can return here, either with the the person who is going to perform this ritual or you can return here and take the gem with should the gem survive you will agree that it will be returned here as prompt as as safely and reliably as possible should it not survive I would bid word be sent of what has actually transpired. A fair bargain we cannot ask for. And also, I would also, if I do not know if it'll make you feel more uh, comfortable, but 
more or less comfortable as the case may be. But if we've discovered the path to ridding, ridding the, cleansing this this artifact of its evil, perhaps others have as well. And perhaps there, there's no coincidence that the blood dwarves have assembled at your gates. Practically, if if, if this item is not cleansed, I, and they do discover the means of cleansing it. I can't imagine that the servants of Narcissus will stop at nothing to destroy the things that can destroy the, the, the thing that they would place their hope in and their dreams in, as dark as they may be. Uh, from the from the tales that you have that you have told, the uh, the the, the Arakokra that assaulted you on the invisible bridge. Blood dwarves down here, the, the cultists on the surface. You know, we, we have seen firsthand that his hand reaches far, and it is clear by your own tale that you are harried at every step. Whether it be because they are everywhere or because they are following you, I know not. I don't know. I don't know if we should feel better or worse now. <laughs> they, I kind of felt better when I just thought they were everywhere. <laughs> well, at least now we have an ally. Indeed. We do. We've been gathering many allies. Yes. For in the darkness there are spots of light. All, all all furthermore, now your city is on alert for the danger which lurks without, which beforehand you had not known quite so much as you do now. Well, I don't know whether they have closed their passage to regroup. Did those that you felled, did they represent a strike force that was highly trained? Or was this really a test? A, a test is just a small fraction of, of what they, they hold. We have no, no real way of knowing, to, to my knowledge, those, those that have fallen to this ilk. Uh, they, have never, they have never claimed their own place, and perhaps they have. So, I believe we have only spoken of one of your your, your yes. things of business, a boat what? steps forward. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh, do you know we recently, control? our town of Griffin Gap, has been given uh, the right to be its own nation. Our mayor has become a king, and we have walls which were built by the dwarves of Craythen Gulch. They are spare and ugly compared to the walls we have seen here. <laughs> a great city deserves great art. We would wish to uh, commission your city uh, to send uh, someone to look at the walls we have built and see if it would be possible for your artisans to create something of art that approaches what you have accomplished here. We would not ask you for exactly the same, but if you could beautify our city both on the external and the internal, it would be of great interest to Griffin Gaff and Hemsworthy. I, I lean into to the elf. Elf, I would be I would be insulted if, if it wasn't if it wasn't for I know the woman is clearly addled. Well uh ma'am I am I'm, I'm not certain well, why you feel she the need to that to, to bring this Gems to my attention, are not adorned with certainly speak to uh, this uh, amazing stone carver <laughs> within, so what she within says the walls true. of my my city about finery. Get a get a quote or get them to come up to your your city. I cannot speak about the rest of what she said. Get get a quote upon upon seeing it. I'm not certain why this needs my permission. My 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 citizens are not confined. Here. I am terribly sorry to have taken your time with this. I did not know it was a matter beneath your noble presence. And she steps back and mumbles under her breath, 
my master could snatch you into this jar. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all be doing this for free. Because <laughs> you ain't going to go talk to anybody and the underlings over this. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Uh, I want to know if I would understand religion-wise if they would have a problem with me having a... Uh, Gnomes a in a magic jar? A temple uh, or something here. Like a, a huh, small set-aside place for... Uh, my deity. Do you think I'd have to do a check for that? You could start a cult. <laughs> a nature cult. <laughs> uh-huh. See, you wanna you wanna just ask whether you be allowed to have some kind of shrine. Yeah, but I don't here. wanna get the same kind of this is beneath my I don't need to talk about this, this is silly. So I'm trying to think if it is appropriate to ask him specifically if like they have like a prohibition against uh you know, top side religions down here. You, you worship a goodly god, don't you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a, supposedly. It's a good <laughs> supposedly. I don't know. I think so. <laughs> God's working for serious ways. Yeah, exactly. I don't know his. I don't know his desires and needs. Well, you worship the benevolent side of the god of nature and time, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, so there you go. What's the god name? Huh? Oh, um, it's, it's. I'm sorry. It's never mind. Yeah. I know. Yeah, it's different. I got you. So you. You wouldn't think that there would be a problem. Okay, great. Yeah. So, I'll just let him know that I wish I wish to dedicate a a small area to be a temple to uh, the god of nature and time. Yeah, we could we could certainly set up some some small shrine. Right. Uh, if I could, I'll be happy to pay for the area where it is to be uh, placed, and I will take care of uh, dedicating it. Well, you clearly don't want a temple, right? No, no, no. Temple's 50 grand. No, I don't, I don't <laughs> want a temple. And that's before you get into all, in all the gem work. Yeah. yeah right. Wait, it might. I don't know if it has to be a temple. It just has a special area, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, a special area dedicated, which could be a temple. Well, you don't have yeah. the money worth it. I want, like, a small corner of the cave somewhere where that you, can grow, like, mushrooms you, and stuff. What are you trying to do? Uh, I want to basically create a, a, sh a, a nature shrine. He wants to. He wants to be able to use the spell and teleport the party from the surface down to here. Ooh, like that. mm. that's real nice. well played. Well, that that's what I want to do. Well, there well you go. Well played. But what spell is that? What is that word we call? Uh, well, yeah, why not? I mean, nice. I, I could awesome. have gotten the transport via plants thing. But uh, and he, it sounds like he is going to allow that. So uh, yeah. you can, you know, do, you can do a, a shrine for okay. two grand. Okay. Uh, I will give a thousand toward that. Great. Excellent. Yeah. Jason's yeah. like points. awesome. I can get a strike force in here at any time. We can magic jar everybody. <laughs> well, we'll magic jar Wait, as, as, as long as we're thinking about alignments, I just gave a thousand for the shrine. Just throwing that out there. All right. Yeah. Uh, so you can and, come down here and magic jar him faster. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna have a strike force so that everyone that can I am magic jar. Neutral good, everybody. <laughs> just, just saying. All right. Neutral. Uh, well, he's speaking of that, now Ace will come forward if that's resolved. Yes. All right. Do, First you, game uh, do you have any prisoners here? For <laughs> 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 or, or what? Um, if you don't have any, it's experimentation. Yeah, we don't generally have prisoners here. If there's so be it. Good and good. We'll be along our way. Um, there is one more. Is there any word of? What happened to Larry? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. What okay, did happen to Larry? Or whatever the heck. Uh, I am not privy to who you were speaking of. Uh, we came across a creature being beset by... Oh, uh, yeah, Elmer. Yeah, well, we wouldn't bother the Thane with that. We'd go back and talk to the beer. Uh, yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. The Thane doesn't. Yeah, well, we're not going to talk to him about that. Okay, we do. well... Uh, so... Right, you weren't going to talk about that. You, uh, you were just inquiring the DM, to the DM as uh, what happened to him, right? Sure. Or, <laughs> no, you're asking the thing. Look. Yeah, asking the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind, go ahead. He should know what's going on in the city. I mean, he's, he's in charge of it, right? <laughs> what kind of Mickey Mouse operation you run? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, the person that was instrumental in uh, our success, uh, our new companion, uh, Hon Henri. 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 The Emperor. Henri, Henri Jean Jacques. Jean Jacques. The Emperor. Yes. I'm going to Thane Cesarine. 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 
Uh, <laughs> no, no, he'll say his name correctly because that'd be the diplomatic thing to do. Um, <laughs> yeah, he, he's I gonna originally keep... <laughs> came here with such a mundane matter, but now I see that it will benefit our people mutually. Now I know that you have no reason to trust the drow, although I hope that I have proved that I am trustworthy. I come to you with an offer from the city of Glimmermere to establish a trading agreement so that they may come here and trade with you in that which they produce that can be found nowhere else in the world. The gemstone known as Umbra, or Umbra Noir. Now, uh, you know, your, your family did uh, ha- have a, a small stone mm-hmm. to be able to oh, pre- yes. present. Just because it's like, well, if they don't have one, no. you know, being able to say, you know what, this one is just for you. Mm-hmm. What should you do with this? Up to you. This one? Okay, there's the time to use it. So, to Dumbass, do you want, do you know what Umbra Noir or Umbra is? Well, yeah. I, I must say that I am very uh, well versed in, in gemstones, but this is this is one that is not uh, not known to me. It is washed, it can only be found by scouring the bottom of Lake Glimmermere, the only place in the world where it is found. It has magical properties in and of itself. Just the most base stone is able to store magical energy. Interesting. Oh yes. And as a gesture of goodwill, to establish our trading agreement. I have here a present for you. Interesting. And he brings forth a very elaborate uh, jewel case in a uh, drow fashion, which is uh, elegant and uh, vaguely disturbing. <laughs> um, and uh, br- uh, if I may approach. Absolutely. And he comes up and opens it up, and in there is a, is a sliver of uh, a uh, umbral, uh-huh. and it, I don't know how it would react to light coming off the gem of the light of the light, because oh, yeah, yeah, that would be, gosh, it's the dark of the dark next to the light <laughs> of the light. Well, he he actually come comes down, uh, so it's not directly within view. Um, you know, a, a very common uh, drow jewel case, since you know, amongst your city, while there's some drow that have a b- large affinity towards spiders. Mm. Um, there's just as many in your city that have the affinity towards the the octopi type type creatures. So they both have eight legs. So the, this one, the, the the box opens up oh, with the the legs. So you kind of have that that kind of almost claw looking thing. So you kind of have to reach in past the the legs to what would be the creature's mouth if it were like a squid. They have the typical beak. I like it. And in this one, you know, you've got the the clips could almost be the beak of, of a squid. So it, it's actually pretty pretty cool. Um, yes, that's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> so I imagine you you know pluck the stone out and hand it to him. Oh, I was going to hand him. I was going to offer the whole. Oh, thing. okay. Um, but not clamp it on. I guess it's got <laughs> clamp it on his face. <laughs> Maybe some other people. Depends on how negotiations then he, go. Then he turns to Ace and he goes, "That's how you take out the thing." <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I swirl my cloak as I do it to give me every possible advantage in my in my diplomatic uh, negotiation. Um, so he he is uh, over the moon uh, at, at your at your gift and. You know, he, he is clearly in awe at the stone, and you know, anyone who you know kind of has a portion of their life obsessed with something, and then you present them with something new, it's kind of a rare moment. And and I know it. <laughs> you, you you do, and some of you uh, do do as well. And he's like, all all of this just to secure a trade. You understand that my race is sometimes viewed with uh, extreme prejudice, which is undoubtedly deserved for certain cities. I don't know how that is. Yes, but the city of Glimmermere has never done 
any other city harm. <laughs> that might be a deception roll. Uh, and so, there is much uh, prejudice to be overcome. So what is it that you are looking for from the city of Volgren? Well, well, what is it that we have? What do you have? That, well. that you are seeking, or is it just you wish to be able to offer this incredibly rare stones? Is, is it... Uh, are you seeking a bidding war? Are you seeking... There is no one to bid against us. Your city has wealth. Look, gems everywhere. We cannot get gems at the bottom of the glimmer mirror. You have things to offer us. We have incredibly rare, priceless things, nearly priceless things to offer you. This is what trade is all about. No? Done and done. It, of course, will mean that mm, small parties of drow will need to come visit your city. And that is the part where people sometimes need convincing. Well, those, those bearing your, your house's seal under mercantile trade have, have safe passage so long as their actions deem it. Very well, sir. I will consider my mission a success and let my matron mistress know immediately. So is there any other business that needs to be attended? Uh, I have an out of question, okay. uh, out of character question to the group. All right. All we got today was a promise, which in my opinion, just knowing what Narkitis does, is worth jack all and nothing. Because I don't, I don't believe for one second that Jeff's going to be back one. here when we need it. So, does anybody here interested in asking him to send the gem with us with a contingency of his own men? It's a four foot tall stone. Yeah. It's bigger than, how are we going to, we're going to haul? We're already hauling an evil spear. Yes, but... How big and heavy is a four foot tall stone? Again, I must explain. <laughs> so, in character, I understand you are from the underneath. No, no, I don't care. How are we, how, yeah. how we going to haul around a four foot I tall stone? I got two <laughs> people, dude. That's why I have two extra <laughs> people. Rock. Four foot tall rock. How it's got to be it? How big is it? It's, it's got to be, like be a ton. <laughs> so, we'll have a cart that comes along with us. You can't well, don't mind us. We're just. Carting around a priceless artifact that we need to destroy a different priceless artifact. So you think we should leave it here? <laughs> it's been I safe think, here all this I time. I think an entire yeah, army of We just found blood. out that there's a whole bunch of blood blood dwarves that could have yeah, invaded the city at any time. Yeah, but this is an entire city time. of Snurberblen, which have survived in the Underdark for hundreds of years against onslaughts of drow, bigger Rhaegar, things than terrasse, who knows what. So you guys are comfortable leaving it here. Yeah, I think it's 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 our best of bad options. And yeah, I think it's just as safe here back. as it is traipsing around Where's the world with us. <laughs> it seemed like a lot of bloodshed for a promise, but alright. So be it. <laughs> <laughs> alright. So you guys ask all your questions? A gnome promise. <laughs> oh man, it's so gnomist. <laughs> I, I feel a duel coming on very soon. <laughs> you can challenge this guy. <laughs> I'll steal a good body for it. It's <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, So he, he invites you guys. Uh, you now, since trade is now able to be reopened, and there's apparently trade negotiations going on with Glimmermere and House of Dan, and you know whatever have you, it seems like you know things are are definitely going to be picking up and. Now, now is a, if anything, is a better time to, to celebrate. So you begin, you know, you begin a feast, and you guys are, are socializing and getting along with with each other. And oh, you know what is going to happen now? I'm cracking open the black iron special brew. Oh boy! So, in and amidst the, uh, the 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 conversation, the 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 theme comes over. I don't know how well you guys are all grouped up together. Uh, you, you know, he he says you you may mention that you're looking for you know these these other items. 
and he starts going into a, a, a story about there are areas down here about beholders. Mm. Does he know where a death tyrant happens to be? That's what we're going to end right here. Oh, but man. just before that, after he tells the story, I'm going to hook him up with uh, a, a, a dwarven, a dwarven wagon bomb <laughs> made from uh, some mushroom mead and uh, the special brew. <laughs> oh yeah, we're getting rip roaring drunk. <laughs> So uh, with that, guys, until next time, stay nerdy.